the town of Shildon in northern England. 200 years since it was the cradle of the railways, parts for new steam locomotives are still being manufactured here. We're interested in all different parts, regardless the size, but somehow it works out that we always end up with those bits which are too complicated, so no one wants to tackle them. But uh, I guess that might be our niche. Daniela has worked on parts for four different new build steam locomotives. Right now, her works are full of parts for the B17 project. Dozens of this handsome class of locomotive were built, but none escaped the scrapman's torch. Fortunately, the newest member of the class is now rapidly taking shape at CTL Seal in Sheffield. But many smaller components go to other workshops for finishing off. That's where Daniela comes into the story. Our main project we're working on is uh, B17. We've got quite a few different uh, assemblies. Uh, one of them is the smoke box and the other is cannon boxes and axle boxes. The cannon boxes started life as a wooden pattern, then they've been cast in steel and those castings came to me. We uh, outsource a heat treatment and grid blasting and free painting. We pre-machined them, then they went for the manganese steel liners, so they've been welded afterwards. They came back to us and we finished all the machining off. Uh, and now the last operation, which is still missing, we've got hardened bushes. So uh, we will be pressing them in. And once that's done, they're all finished. The ring seal itself has been finished 100%, but we need it here so we can assemble everything together, make sure everything fits. Some parts once they're assembled, needs to be drilled through. On the top of it, there will be a smoke box door, and that's the main biggest assembly. And now with the smaller parts, we will need to fit hinges, um, a pin which will go through hinge straps, which actually holds the door in a place, and uh, a door knob. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to open it. The smoke box door already has holes drilled in it for other components. The large hole in the center is where the escutcheon goes, which holds the smoke box dart in place. We are making the dart, we are making the escutcheon. Those are basically bits uh, you will be seeing at the front of the engine that gives it a character. And also, we will be making nice uh, stainless steel polished handles or levers. Uh, you will be able to use them to lock everything in place. These three small holes are where a lamp bracket will be bolted on, and these two, in a line, will carry the smoke box number plate. Perhaps the most complicated component Daniela has manufactured for the B17 are the smoke box door hinge straps. The hinge straps are very complicated to machine. I was expecting that they will be, but they exceeded my expectations. There is a curvature which needs to match the curvature of a smoke box door. But the smoke box door not only curves in this direction, but also in the other. The pin through the hinge needs to stay level. So if the pin is level, the hinge needs to a little bit curve this way and this way. And that's what makes it really complicated. So all in all, there were 17 operations on a CNC milling machine and apart from that probably another five on a manual milling machine. It took a lot of our brain power. We exhausted ourselves by doing that. But we can now get an idea of what the front of the B-17 will look like as the components come together. When everything is basically assembled together, the ring seal needs to be mounted with a wrapper, which will be basically a very difficult operation on its own, because the wrapper is not 100% circular, because it's been rolled, so it will never be 100% circular. So it will be a lot of little bit squeezing here and pushing there to get it right. 
but uh, it will look more like a fully finished locomotive, that's for sure.